1. Sub 5. A stereotypical ugly guy who gets rejected by women because of his looks. A 2 to 3 on the 1 to 10 look scale and 20% of the male population. 2. Normie. An average looking guy between a 4 and 6 on the 1 to 10 scale, roughly 70% of men. 3. Chad. The top 10% of male attractiveness. A 7 or 8 on the 1 to 10 scale. 4. These first three definitions make up the three tiers of men, and describes roughly how easy or hard dating is for a man. 5. The higher up the scale you are, the more likely you are to receive choosing signals, where a woman displays signs that she finds you attractive. 6. Indicators of interest. These are more or less identical to choosing signals. 7. Getting more specific with the three tiers of men, they can be further divided by adding low tier normies. 4 out of 10 in looks or a below average guy. Mid tier normies, 5 out of 10s and average looking. High tier normies or 6 out of 10s and above average looking. Chad lights, 7 out of 10s or attractive guys. Chads, 8 out of 10s and top 1%. And lastly, Giga Chad, a 9 out of 10 or borderline perfect guy. Your face rating then leads to the first component of SMV, standing for market value, which is a combination of all factors that makes you attractive as a man, comprising mainly of face, then height, physique, money, pea size, etc. And this is also ranked on the 1 to 10 scale showing your competitiveness in dating as a man. If you want to find more about how to calculate your score, I actually have a video you can check out on my channel afterwards. 14. Now onto women's ratings. First up we have Becky, which is an average looking woman. 15. Stacy, an attractive woman. 16. Giga Stacy, a borderline perfect woman. 17. Now moving on to dating philosophies. We first have Blue Pill. A set of beliefs based on feel good and wishful thinking. E.g. just be yourself, just be a kind person. Approximately 80% of guys are blue pilled and this is mainly because it's propagated heavily by parents, teachers and the mainstream. 18. Red Pill. A second set of beliefs diverging from the mainstream focused on self-improvement. E.g. going to the gym, acquiring wealth, status, learning game, etc. 19. Finally, Black Pill. A set of beliefs focused on looks and genetics. So your facial structure and height are most important when it comes to your dating life as a man. 20. Hypergamy. A belief held by both red and black pillars that women only date up. In terms of height, in terms of money, looks, status, etc. 21. Looks maxing. Improving your looks in order to make yourself more attractive to women. 22. Gym maxing. A more focused version of looks maxing drawing attention to gaining muscle and lowering body fat. 23. Niche maxing. Changing your appearance or personal beliefs in order to appeal to a certain subset of women. E.g. adopting the pretty boy look or becoming a vegan. 24. Jester maxing. A man who tries too hard to be funny or self-deprecating to attract women. Alternatively, it can also be used in a broader sense to describe a guy who has pointless conversations with women and asks meaningless questions, all because he is afraid to make a move on her. 25. Geomaxing. Moving abroad to other countries to date where the market might be easier. 26. C-maxing. Short for Southeast Asia maxing. A specific form of geomaxing where you move to countries like Thailand or the Philippines because the men are shorter, your money goes further and the women have better values. 27. Passport bros. Men who geomax together. 28. Prime years. 
A woman between 18 to 25 is said to be in her prime years because that's when she's most beautiful. 29. The Wall When a woman reaches 30 and her beauty declines sharply so she no longer has as many options. 30. Chad's Leftovers A woman who has had many experiences with top 10% men but realised they didn't take her seriously. So, she's now looking for a beta as a fast and easy replacement to pick up all of her baggage. 31. Height pill. The fact that women prefer taller men in dating and are more likely to reject shorter men. 32. Age pill. The fact, as a guy, you lose your looks as you age and women will find you less attractive because of it. 33. D pill. The fact women care about pea size. 34. Norwood. The process of balding as a man, which can often be a killer for your dating chances. And this leads to the next point, 35. The Norwood Reaper. A man who has lost his hair and had his dating prospects obliterated because of it has said to be caught by the Norwood Reaper. 36. Pretty boy. A guy with softer, slightly feminine features who is dependent on luscious hair, clear skin and great teeth to carry his attractiveness. 37. Hypermasculine. The opposite of pretty boy. A man who embraces an aggressive and dominant look, relying on his physique and rugged features to be attractive to women. 38. Masculinity Copa. A man who conflates being masculine with being attractive. E.g. a guy with a 4 out of 10 face who believes extreme gym maxing and acting tough will help him get girls. This leads to 38, male gaze maxing, or as I like to call it, ogre maxing, is thinking what will impress men will also impress women. E.g. A lot of guys might be impressed by your physique or that you own a BMW, but most women frankly won't care. 40, and that is why female gaze maxing is far better, which is changing your appearance to mainly what women like. 41, cope. Ways people try to deny harsh realities of dating. E.g., That girl must have rejected me because she already has a boyfriend. But that's okay, because there's plenty more fish in the sea. 42. Rule of six. A simplified list of the things women find attractive. So, six feet tall, six figures, six pack, six inches, and so on. 43. 80-20 rule. The idea that 80% of women are all chasing the top 20% of men, meaning the bottom 80% of men are more or less competing for scraps. 44. Game. The use of social skills to attract women. 45. PUA. Men who try to use game in order to attract women. 46. Spinning plates. The act of dating multiple women at the same time. 47. Negging. A PUA term which describes playfully making fun of a woman to build attraction. E.g. A man saying to a girl, I bet you're the kind of girl who only trains her at the gym. 48. Snake oil salesman. A content creator in the manosphere who tries to sell overpriced products or courses promising to completely transform a man's dating life. 49. Perfect timing to define a 49er. A 49er is a woman who's a 4 that thinks she's a 9. 50. Monk mode. The act of ignoring women for a short period so you can focus all of your time and energy into increasing your value as a man. So your life becomes eat, sleep, work, repeat. 51. Mewing. Posturing your face correctly with tongue placement and breathing patterns in order to help with facial development. 52. The male advantage. 
the belief that men's value increases past 30 if they focus their time on building wealth, status and a physique in their 20s. 53. Emtau A man who has decided to opt out of dating forever mainly because he believes the juice isn't worth the squeeze and he'd rather enjoy his life single. 54. Dry Spell A man who hasn't had female dating options in a long time. 55. Chadfish A man who goes way over the top with photoshopping his images on dating apps so he looks like a chad. 56. Harem Similar to spinning plates, a man who dates multiple women at the same time. 57. Pre-selection. A man will have an easier time dating once women already know he's had success before. He has been previously selected. 58. Social proof. Similar to pre-selection, a man who has a lot of people that respect him has social proof. 59. Eldar. Lay down and rot. A man who believes dating is so pointless that he'll lie on the floor forever not doing anything with his life. 60. Manlet. A man who compensates for his height with being overly stacked or abrasive in personality. So the end product is a guy who looks comical and an angry leprechaun instead of a high value man. 61. Lanklet. A man who is very tall and skinny. 62. Framelet. A man who has terrible body proportions making his body unattractive. 63. Chadlet. A short man with an attractive face. 64. Warm approach. The most common form of approach where a guy meets a woman through a social circle he already has. 65. Cold approach. When a man approaches a woman he doesn't know and starts a conversation that way. 66. Neurotypical or NT for short. A man with no psychological barriers that makes it hard for him to socialise. 67. This is in direct contrast to neurodivergent, which is a man who has some issue that makes it difficult to socialise. 68. Beta bucks. A man who freely spends money on women in order to keep them in his life. 69. Simp. A man who freely gives his attention and occasionally money to women for nothing in return. 70. White Knight. A man who goes above and beyond to defend women to the point where it's blatant the only reason he's doing it is because he wants to impress the girl. 71. Dark triad. A belief that women are drawn to men with negative personality traits. Namely, narcissism, psychopathy, Machiavellianism. To give my opinion, I think this theory is complete BS. 72. Any word followed by cell. A man who gets rejected for whatever his main limiting factor is. E.g. a bald cell is a man who gets rejected because of his baldness. The word cell is short for celibate. 73. The carousel. A woman who is having many short-term experiences with a bunch of different guys is said to be on the carousel. 74. Purity. A description of a woman's relationship material worthiness. If she's high purity, she's probably great for a relationship. 75. Pump and dump. When a man pretends to be interested in a girl, right up to the very moment they end up in bed together, then as soon as that happens, he cuts the cord and doesn't speak to her again. 76. Smash and dash. Identical to the last definition. 77. Ghost. A more friendly version describing the last two definitions. 78. Flake or flakiness. A woman who initially agrees to a date but cancels last minute. It can also be used to describe general low investment over text because a woman isn't that interested. 79. Monkey branch. 
the act of already being in a relationship but then moving to a higher value partner. Just like a monkey swings from one branch to another. 80. Virtue signalling. When a woman refrains from telling the truth to save a man's feelings. 81. Tradcon. A traditional conservative. A man who embraces the family structure, wants marriage and kids, and believes free market capitalism is the best economic system. 82. Abundance mindset. The belief that thinking you have abundance will lead to abundance. E.g. If I talk to a girl as if I've just had 10 girls give me their number, then the next girl will feel my positive energy and view me highly because of it. 83. Gynocentrism. The belief that society is skewed in favour of women, and our whole society revolves around making life easier for them, often at the expense of men. 84. Alpha. A man who is high value and in the top 10% of men. 85. Beta. A low value man in the bottom 90% of men. 86. Sigma. In my opinion, a completely BS term which for those who believe in it means an introverted alpha. When in reality, it more often than not means a delusional low value guy who thinks he's an alpha. 87. Orbiter. Similar to a beta male or simp, a guy who bends over backwards to please the woman of his dreams, while she gives zero investment in return. 88. Mog or mogged. To be trumped by another man in one way or another. E.g. if you height mog a guy, it means you're taller than him. If you face mog a guy, it means your face is better than his. 89. Ascend. A man who thought he'd never have success in dating, but has a miraculous looks transformation. 90. Hope fuel. Anything that gives a man hope, he'll ascend. E.g. Seeing a short guy walking with a hot girl is hope fuel for short men. 91. Hunter eyes. A feature of Chad which means his eyes are piercing and attractive. In contrast to prey eyes which are unattractive. 92. Hollow cheeks. A man who has a lean face and his cheeks go inwards. A sign of attractiveness. 93. Chad jawline. A man with a sharp and chiselled jawline. 94. NCT, negative canthal tilt. When a person's eyes tilt downwards. An unattractive feature. 95. LMS theory. Looks, money, status. What women mainly look for in men. 96. Land whale. To avoid being demonetized, I will not be defining this term but you could have an easy guess of what it means. 97. Just be first. The belief that to succeed in dating as an average to below average guy, you just need to be the first guy that asks her out. This only really applies to men and women in high school. 98. Purple pilled. A man who thinks he knows about red pill and game, but when push comes to shove, he goes straight back to blue pill with his actions when interacting with women. E.g. A man knows he shouldn't double text, but he does it anyway when a girl doesn't respond for three hours. 99. Oofy Doofy. Similar to ogre maxing, the belief that women want slightly unattractive but masculine men or gentle giants. 100. Last but not least, we have the Manosphere, which is the collection of all the 99 terms I just stated, all the content creators on YouTube, all websites, TikTok channels, etc. that are trying to help and explain to men how dating works and how to attract women.